What's up NZers and welcome back to another reaction video. Today we're going to be checking out something that we actually haven't looked at at all on We've this channel yet. We've never gone near this one. So we haven't gone there but uh, we thought that since we went over there and uh, it was interesting our observations to do with that whole thing. Right. So to, we're to do with this topic. After our trip to America. Yeah. So for the but, first time. But uh, we're not going to go into any detail now. But if you want to know what our thoughts are about stuff like this, then you need to check out a video that we're going to make soon. So make sure you stay tuned for it. It's called Seven Things That Shocked Us About the USA. Yeah, so that's coming up soon. Or you can jump on Patreon and join us on a Zoom call and then we chat all things very candid over there. So Yes. Yes. So this one is called Five Guns the Government, I'm guessing that's the US government, doesn't want you to have. So I'm, I'm guessing we've, like, we're going to have like, you know, missile launchers and like bazookas and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. don't even know what you can buy in America. I don't even know like, I, know. I don't even know where, where, where the scale is. I've like, never even seen guns that look like this uh, in real life before. Yeah, I know. In fact, we probably should have gone into a gun shop just to have a look. Maybe, but... It's a completely different world for us. But when I look at this, this freeze frame here of the start of the video, I think of an airsoft shot. Oh, uh, yeah. Because that's what there is in New Zealand. Yeah. You can't get any real guns like that in New Zealand yeah. at all. Yeah, they're just not think real. Of, I, yeah, I think of like airsoft, like BB guns and, yeah. you know, toy guns and stuff. It's a whole other world, eh? <laughs> yeah, anyway, let's check it out. Welcome back, everybody. This is Eric and Barry from Moss Pawn and Gun. And today, uh, we thought we'd hit you with another Five Guns video. Glorious beard. I know these have been very popular. <laughs> uh, you guys have enjoyed them. So we want to make more and uh, we were kind of thinking the other day like hey what would be a good idea for a five guns video and we came up with the idea you know what would be five guns mm -hmm. i know there's a lot of them that the government mm -hmm. you know wouldn't want you to have but what would be the five they would go after first yeah i mean what are the top five guns that the government would just hate the idea of you mm -hmm. having i know that uh, a lot of people in the government are very anti-gun you know, they're anti-semi-automatic, modern sporting rifle, Whoa. so on and so forth. What was so, that uh, thing? What would they be what and why? So uh, let's discuss it. Oh my so, goodness. The, guns that they, the five guns they I have never seen that. Have, that's insane. Also the most evil looking guns that the media jumps all over. Yeah, you know what? That's exactly the case. Whoa. I mean, sometimes it comes down to what the media thinks is some evil, scary looking gun. And sometimes the aesthetics and appearance of a gun, wow. you know, people think that it's mm -hmm. automatically more deadly or whatever. Mm -hmm. wow. This just isn't the case. I mean, you can't go by the way a firearm looks. Um, but unfortunately, the media tends to pick up on a lot of that, and the government does too. I mean, a lot of politicians, you know, may put forth um, anti-gun legislation based uh, solely on the cosmetic appearance of a given firearm. Well, the news media survives on uh, uh, keywords, uh, uh, cliches. These guys are spicy. Yeah, I wonder what a T word is. Oh, they play, keyword. They play on oh, keyword. Okay. It catches your ear when you hear it. Well, let's uh, let's show them five okay. awesome guns. Now, I thought there was some bad words. Okay, we're not tea. saying that. I mean, believe me, I am pro gun as hell. I don't want any of this stuff to ever get banned. I don't want them coming after my stuff. I mean, I love my AKs and ARs. Show them that AR there on the end. Well, we've got a mean looking AR down here. And of course, the ARs are always one of the things that uh, the government's always going to want to try to go for. They hate ARs. Or, you know, they hate us having them. Got the little bipod on it. Yeah. Now, 30 round magazine, we've got the uh, EOTech law enforcement side on top, flashlight, backup site, uh, most sites. With the gadgets. Wow. There's, your basic, there's your basic evil AR. I wonder if they're heavy. <laughs> and, you know, because it looks scary Probably. and cool, you know, it's automatically more deadly than something that's not. <clears throat> we've got uh, next going down the line, we've got a 12 gauge Sega. Is that a shotgun? With a drum. It also has the EOTech military law enforcement side on it. Great uh, gun. Great gun. Beautiful That's actually gun. actually wow. a uh, conversion wow. that Ray did. It looks like an um, AK-47. It's very uh, high speed when it comes to converting Segas. This one's actually got a folding mech uh, with one of the little short billet aluminum stocks. Quad rail. Of upgrades, mm -hmm. yeah. Quad rail, 15 round drum. So this is a semi-automatic 12 gauge that can shoot 15 shots in under three seconds. Wow. Now, remember, folks, all these guns are available at Moss Pond. That, yeah, that is a shotgun. <laughs> um, Just one in case you want to get you one. Yeah. Got in recently is the Tavor. All right. That looks the, mean uh, to me. IWI wow. Tavor. It's a uh, bullpup, semi-automatic sporting rifle. Takes standard AR-15 pattern magazines. Um, this is something that we've got in new. Um, the Tavors have only been out about a year and a half or two, so they're not quite as prevalent. Um, however, this is a good example of the type of guns that are out there that. Obviously, the media looks at them, and, and it's some scary-looking bullpup. 
-hmm. and obviously they're going to think, wow, that's that's futuristic, that's you know frightening, you know, and, and it's scary. So yeah, obviously it, it must be more dangerous time. because it's so scary looking. But all this is is just a modern sporting version of the Israeli uh, Defense Force Tavor, mm -hmm. and that's a bullpup, uh, five five six caliber um, carving, great gun. This has got a 28 shot magazine with a window in it. Yeah. Uh, but this gun is an excellent weapon. I'm, I'm sure all of you have heard of the gun. Sure. Oh, yeah. What have we got last there? Well, you heard of that? No. we've got the AK-47. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, this is a Sega Classic. conversion. I heard of that. This is actually yeah. another conversion that Ray put together. Wow. Um, it's a standard Tactical Sega AK rifle with a long barrel. Um, we've threaded it for a break. It's got a Harris bipod. Um, this particular gun we've actually outfitted with a custom uh, SIG 550 handguard set that we made a custom bracket uh, for everything to work with. It's got a extended magazine release, a uh, MFT style grip, you know, recoil comp stock. It's got EO, a scope EO mount tech. and again, an EOTech mm -hmm. on top. And this is an example of the type of guns that, you know, obviously politicians love going after these things because they're scary looking. Mm -hmm. And the thing about the AK-47 is that it's synonymous with uh, bad guys. Everybody sees yeah, an AK true. and what's what? the first mm. thing Russians. Bad guys. And like I in movies and guy. stuff. Yeah. 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 But the truth is, is that this is a gun that many people in America are just going to take out and have fun with. We're going to shoot stuff, play around. You know, it's not some evil, crazy assault weapon like the media makes it out to be. You know, it's just a sporting gun. Well, Barry, uh, this is four guns. Where's the fifth one? Well, is this the bazooka? Know. Where is it? I'm waiting for something I'll tell you what, massive. We got one more gun now. If if the government you know, uh, have their way, I'm sure they would not want you to have this. All right, this is the king of rifles. They're okay? massive. They're, and, by, yeah. and this is produced by a model American. It's the Barrett M107, semi-automatic 50 caliber uh, anti-material rifle. Whoa. There you go. 10, Ten shot, shot semi-automatic. 50 BMG as quick as you can pull the trigger. That's a semi-auto wow. magazine. This is a bad boy right here. <laughs> uh, you know, this particular so, gun, I mean, these are about twelve to $13,000, so mm -hmm. very expensive rifle. That's like 20 uh, grand, uh, The earlier versions of the Barrett, obviously, um, very wonderful guns, but the M107 mm -hmm. represents uh, pretty much the pinnacle of uh, big bore anti-material firepower. Far out. I wonder how much one of those single package. bullets costs. And this is something uh, yeah. that, all right, get this. You're a citizen in the U.S. and you turn 18 years old. You can walk into a gun store and you can buy this, and no one will care. If you've got the money, you can buy that gun. If you got the money, more power to you. Mm -hmm. I'm sure this is not Bloomberg approved. Most certainly not Bloomberg approved. <laughs> oh, yeah. Get some of that. <laughs> Get you some of that. <laughs> That's it. They love it, huh? Trolling. <laughs> Trolling. Of course, we've got five guns here that I'm sure the government uh, does not want you to have. Uh, and the uh, bleeding hearts and the anti gunners certainly don't want you to have. Yeah. But uh, we hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you were entertained by it. And uh, check us out next time. Yeah, you know, hopefully, if anything, it was a good excuse to show you some awesome weaponry. Um, definitely some awesome weaponry. And mm -hmm. here's the thing you know, the term weaponry gets thrown around a lot when it comes to these types of firearms. I mean, it's a weapon, it's scary, it's some baby killer, mm -hmm. some assault weapon. But at the end of the day, it's nothing more than a modern semi-automatic sporting rifle. Okay, you can go out and have fun with it, have fun with the kids, do a little shooting. It's no big deal. I mean, people have this <laughs> Get the kids on the rifle. <laughs> about gun owners in America that were a bunch of crazy, you know, weirdos or whatever. But a lot of people integrate these types of firearms into their family fun, mm -hmm. into their plinking and training. And uh, it's no different than any other gun. Just cosmetically, they do look a little scary, uh -huh. but they're no different than any other firearm. Well, remember, folks, we've got a lot more guns here at Moss Pond, and pretty soon we'll be doing another gun tour. Yep. We've got a lot of new guns, yep. and we need to get them in tune Yeah, with we, we've actually a little late on the gun tour this year. We'll try to wrap that up for you guys as soon as possible. All right. Um, there's a lot of things in the pipeline that we're trying to do. So um, we definitely appreciate you guys watching today. You know, uh, make sure you check us out on Facebook, all the social media websites you see below. Also, we have a uh, awesome members only section of our website. Uh, be sure to sign up, join. I love uh, their for accents. For plenty of Sign. behind the scenes know, exclusive it, content. Maybe it reminds me of Texas. You guys are going to love. You're going to love it. Absolutely. So, um, 
hopefully this video was straight to the point, a little bit informative for you, uh -huh. and uh, we appreciate you guys watching today. Y'all tune in next time. Absolutely. Yeah. Be sure to subscribe, <laughs> and we'll see you next time. Wow. So, I want you to your father and son. Or maybe they just work together. I, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know what the relationship was I there. was going to say they sound the same, but that's because... Yeah, well, they could be from the same place. Yeah. Same state. Um, but, but I think, uh, yeah, it's really interesting because, okay, first of all, I was expecting a lot scarier stuff. Oh, really? I thought they were going to be pulling out, like, you know, like, rocket-mounted, like, <laughs> missiles and stuff. I thought it was going to be, like, real bad. Oh, okay. I thought it was going to be, like... I don't know anything really about I mean, about that one that we saw at the beginning with all the different magazines yeah, and yeah, that was scopes crazy. and everything, I was just like, I was expecting stuff like that. Yeah. Like, real out-of-this-world stuff. Yeah. But, I mean, honestly, when you think about it, it's like, the purpose of, like, let's just take, you know, these people, for instance, yeah, these two guys... Their whole uh, thing about it is that it's just for fun. Yeah. And that's how they want to spend their time having fun. Like it's a sport. Yeah. They're, yeah. they're law-abiding citizens. Yeah, yeah. They, uh, I, I don't imagine that they would go out hunting with someone like this. Cause... Yeah, so I was going to ask that. What's, so is it just more for fun? Like you set up, like let's take the kids yeah, like target shooting. to the, yeah. um, to to the target range. shooting. Yeah. yeah, you gotta go to the range and you just all have a couple And you of... like, what about the automatic ones? You're just trying to... I don't know. I don't know. These are all semi-automatic though. Oh, oh right, I don't yeah. know. I don't know. I don't know if they're semi-automatic or not, or if they're fully automatic. But yeah, I don't. I have no idea. Yeah. But the, yeah, I suppose the whole the people who defend it say that they just want to have it for fun, mm. and I suppose that they're well-meaning people. And and you know, in and of itself, they should be able to because it's just a sport. Yeah, but, but I guess there's people. There's always going to be people that take advantage of that. But you could never do a thing like that in New Zealand. No. Yeah, I mean, like, for instance, here in New Zealand, if, uh, remember, I wanted to look into getting, like, a handgun. Yeah. And you have to, add, because I actually did want to be part of a gun club, too. Yeah. But first of all, the, the only gun club that was available near me was quite a long driveway. Yeah. But then the, the red tape and everything that is surrounding it. Yeah. It's crazy. Like you have to go through a really, really detailed check here. Yeah? You have to get some somebody. You, uh, the police have to interview somebody else about you and your mental health and what they think of you. Yeah. So they already did that with me when you got yes. your gun license. That was just a regular basic. That's just license. for a rifle, like a hunting rifle or a shotgun. But I think like, you know, like if you want to own a handgun here, like you were just saying, you actually legally have to be part of a club. Yeah. You have to go at least once a month. Yeah. And you have to notify the police when you're leaving the house with it. And when you're going to return home. Yeah. So they have to know exactly when you're out of the house with it. Yeah. And when you're so back. So you call them up and you say, hey, I'm about to go with my handgun to um, the shooting range. Yeah. And I'll be back going home at around that time. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah, I don't, it's a very tight fist. It really is. Yeah. Yeah. So that's just to have one of the handguns that you guys would just call concealed carry. Yeah. And that everyone has. Also, I might add that the self-defense laws here are vastly different from America. Yes. Insanely different. Yes. Like, if you, like, there's been cases of people who defended, like, defended either themselves or their families, and they got done, charged criminally badly. Yeah, they still went to jail. Yeah, because they were just defending themselves. It's just different because we don't have a gun culture, that's the thing. Yeah. So, I guess... The country wasn't formed in that way, you no. know? It wasn't, like, there was no sort of Wild West type... No. Um, ...upbringing, you know, where everybody had their firearm, their sidearm... Yeah. ...for protection and Whereas America like was, like, that's always been there. Yeah. Um, so it's, it's, it's such so an different. interesting yeah. thing, eh? And we understand that it's a very sort of hotly debated thing. Yes. But I think that we should all be grown up and mature enough to be able to have a conversation about it. Yeah. Without and being also, emotional. I want to go to America and I want to, like, I would like to try um, going to a shooting range. And yeah. trying the Me sport too. of yeah. this. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah. In the name of fun, you know? Totally. I personally would never hunt with anything like that because I think it's oh, just no. such a one-sided... New Zealand has a big hunting culture too, though. Yeah. So we've got a lot of rifles here, hunting rifles. Yeah. And you have to have They're a They're usually like bolt action, yep. sort of single... Yeah, deer you know. hunting and stuff. And that's what yep. you've got a license for. Yeah. You can actually get a collector's license here in New Zealand where you can actually start to move into things like... Big, like Handguns. Yeah, no, oh, and, and, and stuff like this. No, all the semi-automatics got taken. Because you can import them. Oh, no, that, that's a special collector's license. Oh, okay. You're talking about everyday people had their semi-automatics taken. Yeah, everyone had to hand them in to the government about yep. how long ago. Well, when that, Christchurch. 2018, 2019? Massacre happened, 2019. Yeah. Anyone with a semi-automatic rifle was seized by the government. Yeah. So I guess that's what they're talking about here. Yeah, exactly. So what, yeah, so what these guys are talking about, that's what happened here. I know. But we didn't, but not a lot of people even had semi-automatic rifles here. It wasn't, um, it's not a massive thing. Yeah, it wasn't a huge Whereas, deal. Whereas I guess if it happened in America, you know, there'd be, there's just probably millions of gun owners mm. um, with semi-automatic rifles. Here there was... Not that many. Yeah. But the interesting thing about that title to this video is that uh, 
I, I from what I understand, my very very limited understanding of the Second Amendment, which is the oh, thing yeah. the thing in their constitution about firearms, yeah, and how uh, you know it's, it says that you know the right to defend yourself and your property, yeah. But the, apparently, what I've heard is that the main reason that was created is to protect the everyday person from a tyrannical government who tries to take over, ah. who, who tries to, you know, overpower the people. Yeah. You know, like, so you have the government that's just totally ruling. Yeah. So then if you've got a tyrannical government and then they take your firearms from you, isn't that when you use them? <laughs> yeah, I, it, that's the whole thing. You know, it's like, yeah, uh, it's just, and again, we're from here. So it's I mean, we don't, yeah. It's something that we don't really ever really think about or contemplate. No, we don't. But it's, but then again, you know, a tyrannical government can literally happen in any country. Doesn't matter. You, no country is immune from it. Nope. You know, and it can it can just happen over time mm -hmm. before you even know. So, anyway, enough hot topics today. Yeah, that's quite spicy. <laughs> Probably spicy. our spiciest video to date. <laughs> don't <laughs> kill us. Yeah, if, if our whole channel gets deleted tomorrow, you know why. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs> it was nice knowing you. <laughs> no, but it's uh, yeah. I think it's just. I think we should. You, you should, should be able to have a yeah, conversation. You should have a conversation about everything. And also, all we're doing is talking about it from our perspective and mm. what happens here, which is very in the middle, totally. very very neutral. Yeah. A and you know, yeah, we can't actually really have like a proper opinion. No, we can't because we not, don't live in your country. Yeah, we with don't your have cultures. anything to lose in terms of like you yeah. know, uh, you know, yeah, things being taken off you and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, I mean, I I, really I, had them I only have one hunting rifle myself. Yeah, and it's just like a lever action Henry, and that's. You know, it's just a single shot, 30-30. Yeah. And you know. then we don't hunt that often, so it's no. like... Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's just different. We're just from a completely different Different world. universe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, if you enjoyed that one, hopefully, make sure you smash the like button. <laughs> and also, if you want to see more stuff like this, uh, I really enjoyed this channel. I think it's from a guy called Iraq Veteran. Oh, so. it sounds... It, uh, they sound like real salt of the earth, like... Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, I'm, I mean, I think there's other videos that they've done, like, top five guns for, like, home defense and all this sort of stuff. I don't know. If... Let us know if you yeah, enjoyed we'll, this we'll one. Yeah, we'll see what the reaction to this video is first. Yeah. Let's see what your reaction is to our reaction to <laughs> their reaction. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, anyway, we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.